Welcome back to YouTube. And if you saw, you just saw. You just saw a few pictures. Maybe a little ride, whatever. Stuff like that. Me inside of a store. But it's called Cleopatra's. And welcome to this episode of Unbagging. I'm doing a new run. I'm doing a new run. I'm trying new stuff. I'm actually, you know, for the, for the people out there. For all my Grecian people. Um, I'm actually doing a Greek run, a Greek week run, because I figured I, I've been seeing these three, three certain restaurants around, and this is my first one, Cleopatra's, you saw it, so I'm doing a Greek run, I'm doing a Giro run, and I'm, and what I'm learning, and I, and I decided to learn a little bit about the Giro sandwich, and the Giro's are believed to have been originated in Greece. It's like a shawarma, too. Like a shawarma is like that. And uh, a donor kebab in Germany. If you've ever been to Germany, you know what I'm talking about. Donor kebab. But, yeah. Let's definitely check out this. Uh, ooh, got a little fat. I might be eating a little too much of this food lately. But let's see what we got in this unbagging. Thank you for, for tuning in. But if you haven't yet, make sure you know what to do. You know what to do like subscribe hit that little bell and do that and you will know be notified for every time i drop new content and i've been dropping new content lately but this is it you saw a picture of it i didn't really want to film inside there was a couple other people in there and they had some other little sweets there and stuff like that that was uh pretty good but mm, french fry Shawarma style. Dope, dope. It's like a little burrito. Word up. They gave me, um, napkins. You know me and napkins. I always have a infatuation with napkins. <sighs> Alright. Let's check this out. Mmm. 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 This is a, the gyro. So we got this. Got some tomatoes. Got some... Mm. Got some gyro meat, which is usually lamb. So, heck yeah. Look at that. And these are the french fries. French fries. All right, so you saw that. It's a nice, good-sized little pita. Nice little gyro, if you're into gyros. My thing is, you're getting that. It's like a taco. Mmm. That was good. Mm. Mind you, I've never tasted these places before, but there'll be other ones. The tzatziki is not bad. It doesn't have like a, a weird kick to it, but that's what makes it the best is the tzatziki. Let's try another one.
Mmm. You can just taste that lamb. The lamb seems fresh. And I think sometimes, though, the bad thing about lamb, I wouldn't know if it was fresh or if it wasn't sometimes, just to be a dork. Mmm. <laughs> All in all, this key roll sandwich is pretty good. To give you a nice big heap of meat. Look at that. Mmm. You know? It doesn't and it doesn't taste like Arby's. Cause Arby's had one too. And it was kinda like, ugh, are you serious? Mmm. Out of this one, though, out of five stars, I'd give it a three. Three and a half. It's kind of chewy. And I didn't... And I ordered it, and like it was like... It was ready as soon as I showed up to pick it up. And they told me ten minutes, and I showed up in 11 minutes and it was super ready so i don't know it tastes fresh but it wasn't warm warm but that's definitely something i'm going to check on the next one if it comes warm but we'll definitely be checking it out but this one i'll give i'll give it a three and a half to be good but this was cleopatra's on like 104th and federal so if you're ever around 104th and Federal and you want a gyro, go to Cleopatra's. I'll leave the description in the bio. But if not, you know what I mean? Let me know if you ever have a good gyro experience. Because I'll be doing another one tomorrow. And I think this one might be a chain. But we'll find out. But until then, hey man, I hope you enjoy your day. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified every time I drop something new. Hey, but thanks for tuning in. This just has been a little unbanging of Cleopatra's Gyro Palace.